Islam Dwayne. It is June the 8th, 2019. Islam. Um, I just came back from the DMV. Um, just I just came back from the DMV. Uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. Not even that. And um, what I did was have my um, apartment number corrected to 116. Because it was uh, saying 11 by mistake. And so it was corrected to 116. And um, now what I'm doing is washing the dishes. Um, and um, that, um, after that, then I plan to go to um, Whole Foods. And um, I'm going to go to Whole Foods and um, purchase a few things, and but which is going to take some time. And then um, I'm going to go up to the notary place. And um, I'm going to go up to the notary and um, have the letter notarized. And then um, finish taking care of my business. And um, I was just um, saying Islam to you this um, Saturday. How you doing today? I hope well. I'm well. Um, today was a good morning. I was um um I the, I didn't realize I, well, I saw a little bit how close the uh, DMV was, but I was still skeptical about walking up there because I couldn't remember the street. And how far the, and which street I should turn on to make the walk. So um, I had to scramble up two dollars so I could catch the bus. So I, and then I walked back. So I know, and it's really right around the corner. Literally, it's not far at all. The DMV. So um, and another thing, I, I didn't realize there's a post office that's um, closer than the one that I usually go to. I usually go to this other post office. Um, that's um, closer to social services where you get food stamps, and there's in um, that is approximately an hour, so it's about 30, I would say about an hour and 15 20 minute walk, okay, approximately, or yeah, about an hour, hour walk, 15 minute hour and 15 minute walk from here from American Senate State, and there's one closer than that. There's one like right, literally approximately uh, 15 minutes walking distance from Burger King, approximately. So that's another good thing I learned about um, Annapolis. So, so anyway, right now I'm cleaning our, our kitchen. Um, I have Earth Sky that I want to upload. I have it um, that I need to upload and show you that I read. I've been trying to take care of my business so much. It's like I haven't really had time to do the basic um, reading that I wanted to do. But I, one of the things I do, I, I have done is focus on my mental and um, my mental chance. So, um, but in my breathing today, I haven't done. So I need to do that. I was going to do it while I was at um, DMV. But this time, instead of breathing, I just chose to focus um, on my thoughts. And it worked. It really did. I focused on my thoughts and just kept studying in my mind. And it felt good. So anyway, I just wanted to say Islam to you. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Good morning, Master Bay is your wife. I'm Ron Anton Hyphy Bay. And yeah, so this is pretty much how I look right now. <laughs> talk to you later. Um, and what I'm noticing, Dwayne, I want to say this to you, is, you know, um, in reference to spiritual possession and actual freedom, I was thinking about the word actual and the next, next to freedom, actual freedom. When we are among unclean spirits and their goal is to possess the body, you could be a billionaire, a, a, a zillionaire, a millionaire. But if a spirit that is unclean is using your body as a host, as a shell to uh, live in, then what that is not freedom. And only a part of you exists. Sort of like that movie, The Ghost in a Shell. The Ghost in a Shell. So she had a soul in that movie. But she didn't, even she didn't know she had a soul. And she was different. 
um, and those that were using her was using her to do things uh, and she didn't even realize a, a part of herself a, a, a true self was still there and they had uh, this formed her body um, and mutilated her body and she thought she was something else until she started to remember that she had a soul and then she met someone else who also had a soul so um, that all his his body was mutilated and disformed so my my thoughts this morning was um, what is the use of having money and your bills paid good credit um, a nice expensive car uh, living in a million dollar home if your mind and your spirit is not free if you are in bondage if you are possessed spiritually that those are my thoughts is long so um, I'm the word actual what I learned in the be it known class um, uh, um, and using the word actual that I learned from the teachers of Prophet Noble Joel Lee uh, be it known through most American national public I think also all aspects of freedom as we as Moorish American claim the proclamations um, of Abraham Lincoln actual freedom as we reclaim our actual actual freedom understanding our emotions our true emotions our true thoughts our true selves Islam it's June the 8th 2019